Well, I'm just all kinds of zonked up. So why does it sound like like Pokemon? Oh, wait a second. Oh, I better stop this. I'm listening to a little Kazi Nina Ray. I don't know what for for whatever reason. Uh, how did that stop? There we go. I might as well just leave up there. I have to upload this video because for some reason my SmackDown viewers are really quick. Oh, I forgot. Here's another way to say hello. I guess hello, hola. Wait a second. What's the difference between hola, hola, hola? <laughs> Yeah, I had to have a little caffeine in my system because I'm just <laughs> zonked. Two days at the oh, oh my, God. my body, my my entire body just feels like a limp noodle right now. So good feeling because what I've been doing at the spa, I've been going sauna at like 120 degrees. Although for some reason today it was like 200, which was fine for me. I just spent. Instead of spending 20 minutes at 120, you spend 5 minutes at 200 and you sweat off the same. Then a cold pool. So good. And then a 102 degrees bubbly jacuzzi. Followed up. And then today, because I, 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 cause no one else was in the pool, I followed that up. Another dip into a cold pool. So good. And then I'm eating my parents' food. Because they have cookies. I can't afford cookies. Especially the cookies they buy. We can afford cookies like that. But enough about this. Let's talk about some SmackDown. Oh boy, was this a different show. Than Raw. Um, I think they're really using... Do I have to do that? Two. Now that I see that book out. They're really using... SmackDown as a build to SummerSlam, which I'm okay with, mainly because SummerSlam is one of the big four pay-per-views, at least that I can remember, because I remember it was always a Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, King of the Ring, um, well, King of the Ring used to be number five, now I think King of the Ring has been replaced with Money in the Bank. There's always um, Survivor Series, the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam. We're always the big four. When I was growing up, it was King of the Ring. It was like that weird fifth spot. Now that weird fifth spot, I think, is Money in the Bank. Because I used to have like a Money in the Bank match during like a lesser pay-per-view, like I want to say, and you guys can fully correct me if I'm wrong, I think it first came out, I think for like an In Your House show. I might be wrong, but they did something cool for an In Your House show. Whatever. Whatever. I'm getting old and things are getting fuzzed together. I still have to make that freaking out. That has to go back in the bathroom. I have to make I have to make that take it all off Nikki video. I have so much to do tomorrow. It's not even funny. I have so much to do tonight. It's not even funny. But let me go through SmackDown. Uh this is kind of an uninspired show. Um recap heavy. It is, however, Pressing everything forward towards SummerSlam, which is a good thing. So um, SmackDown starts off, New Jay uh, come down. They actually do commentary the whole time. Uh, Shane comes out, cuts a promo. Obviously, that's going to bring out Kevin Owens. is going to show up. And then uh, cuts the backstage section. Elias is going to be a timekeeper. Shane's going to be the guest announcer. And Drew McIntyre is going to be a special guest referee, so we all know what's going to happen at the end. Um, again, yeah, it's okay. I think with this, it was they cut a lot to recap from Raw, mainly showing all the superstars of years gone by. Someone, someone said Dana Brooke was there. 
I didn't see Dana Brooke unless she came fully out of character. I think they said she was with Alicia Fox. So yeah, that would make sense. But Dana Brooke looking entirely different. Um, Eva Torres was there. Eve Torres was there. Eva Mendez was there. Millennia was there. Millennia looks great. And I think the one thing I forgot to mention on the street path, um, Dawkins, I think, she was obviously lighting up with Rob Van Dam in the back, which is not something Dan wants, because, again, that is a wellness policy violation. So you probably shouldn't mention that on air. And, of course, just drinking with Ric Flair, it's, it's, I'll tell you what, Stone Cold and Ric Flair were exchanging stories. That would have been so amazing. Just to know, like, a third of what happened before shows, during shows, and after shows. I think Flair actually did. I know Charlotte has a book. I forget if Flair does or not. I think they all have a book nowadays. That'd be pretty cool, though. That's another thing I, have to, I should look up. What was that other thing I have to look up? Look that up. I don't know. I have, like, an unofficial list of stuff to do. Again, an un unofficial list versus big calendar official list. In fact, I went to the gym today. Went to the spa afterwards. Oh, so good. Woke up 2 o'clock. <laughs> Put out the aluminum. Some of my fourth bag of aluminum. So that's always a good sign. But wait a second. Um, I'm distracted here. So our first match of the night is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Apollo Crews. This is actually a pretty entertaining match. And Shinsuke is a heavy striker. Apollo Crews He's just such a gifted athlete. Um, not in this match, but I know in the Chris Jericho match, there was miscommunication where he tried to kip up and Chris Jericho was going to do the line salt. So what happened, Chris Jericho was up on the ropes. He tried to do his line salt, and it was a really weird thing. Could have ended probably a lot worse. So Paul Cruz, he's just his matches aren't boring. I'll give I'll give him that. I always give credit where credits too. He does have fun matches. Super athletic. I think the only thing he's missing, and every so often it comes out, is his personality. Like I know with Chris Jericho. He had great personality, but Chris Jericho brings out probably the best in everyone. And with Bobby Lashley in the pose off, WWE could have done so much more with that. What do I know though? I'm just a mark. Mark in the crowd. That reminds me in August, NXT comes back to town. Hmm. Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah, Tucky. Oh, wait, there was no heavy machinery. Wait a second. There was no heavy machinery. Wow. Maybe they were at the house show. I saw pictures of the SmackDown house show. Wow. SmackDown ever. Bad times. I thought it was empty at the Raw show. And if you want to see that, you can go click on my video I made about my experience at the NX, at the, um, Raw branded live show at the Amway Center. But um, Paul Cruz, I mean, he's so strong, so athletic. He does that long, strong suplex. So, and the moonsault. Shinsuke Nakamura is a striker. He's not really added in that um, sliding. What do they call it? Sliding. The sliding snap German suplex. Uh, eventually, Paul Cruz does get caught. Gets the Kinshasa. It was a good match. It's, it's it's hard to complain. This was a good, solid cheeseburger match.
Then in the back, it was Sonya and Mandy Rose. Uh, Mandy Rose talked her way into getting a tag team match next week versus the Iconics. And then maybe for some... Oh, God, no. I just thought of what they're going to do for SummerSlam. And it's not good. For SummerSlam, they might have a triple threat tag team match. And that Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville would eat the pen. It's, it's a fire desire of, of, of booze. Booze, so booze, Sonya Deville. And Mandy Rose versus the Kabuki Warriors. The jumping bomb angels of Asuka. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to look up. Uh, of Asuka and Kyrie Sane. I almost call her Io Shirai. Wow. If you don't see these people on, on TV all the time, you're like, huh? Who? Versus the Iconics of Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. I'll, I'll always remember those. And funniest moment I had, I'm like, her boobies don't look big. They look bigger on TV. What's up with that? Uh, and then we had Miz TV. Miz, uh, Miz brings out Shawn Michaels. Dolph interrupts. Uh, <laughs> He said, well, at least my match wasn't as embarrassing as Goldberg's match. Um, he felt shame because he saw Shawn Michaels. I, it was an okay match. Shawn Michaels isn't going to do any of the crazy stuff he used to. Listen, it's Father Time. Father Time wins everything. And with The Undertaker and Kane, yeah, it's going to be a slow plotting match. So you kind of expect that. Um, HBK actually did eat a super kick from Dolph. Because uh, he shoved Miz out of the way. Dolph runs away. So I guess this is going to set up something between the Dolph and Miz. Again, it's been some time, so it's going to feel at least a little fresher. That's a good thing. Then we have Ember Moon versus Woo! Charlotte Flair. And Woo! Charlotte Flair's boobies are really round, round and full. Andrade must be a happy man. Oh, uh, so for the most part, Charlotte gets a lot of offense in, and Ramon gets a little offense. Uh, Charlotte gets distracted because ba Bailey shows up. So Bailey distracts Charlotte, and Ramon gets to roll up on Charlotte, and then for all of her troubles. Ember Moon shoves Bailey in the ring, gives her an eclipse. Charlotte then also eats an eclipse. Ember Moon stands tall. What are they going to do next week? Because there's still two weeks. Is, wait, is there? Wait a second. One? Yeah, there's still two weeks until summer. Do some weird thing. Then um, I know later I'll skip forward a little bit. Um, there's a whole bunch of recaps. Whatever. Uh, Charlotte says there's going to be no queen at SummerSlam. No, just take just take the day off. Paid day off. Hey, it's better than an unpaid day off. I've had for well, actually not that long. Only two weeks. Wow, I thought it was longer. June. Then I had that. Oh yeah, that's right. I had that that payday, that payday. I paid last Monday. Wow. It hasn't been as long as I thought it's been. Doesn't matter, I found a in my hoboing journey for aluminum, so at least I'll have a job somewhere. I have to figure out yeah, kind of like a day later or something, probably Fridays. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Oh, that's the other thing I have to use. Life from our cops. Oh, that's what I have to... Shoot, so much stuff. Tomorrow I'm getting stuff done. Don't go to the gym until late. I go to the spa later. 
probably eat at my parents again. Finish off that loaf. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Comes on TV on Wednesdays anyway. It's been so long since I've watched TV. It was weird watching SmackDown on TV for a change. I'm normally used to interacting with people on, on YouTube. But enough about that. Um, Ember Moon. Ember Moon picks up the win. It was short. It was a ham sandwich of a match. Kofi Kingston comes out, cuts a promo. Randy Orton has a promo with him. And then we have the match of Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe. Um, Kofi can do, can do all the flippy counters, which is really good. Uh, Joe and Kofi, they brawl a lot. Joe's just... I never realized how big and thick Joe is until you see him go against someone skinny like Kofi. Like against... Oh, who did he go against last time? Against against Raw. Whoever it was was a. Oh, I could look at my notes, but oh, it was Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, I think. He makes Samoa Joe look a little smaller because Roman Reigns. I didn't realize how, how how muscular he was, and I guess nothing was wrong with his. Sh and I go well. I'll I'll get to that later, but I guess the there really wasn't much. They could be hiding that. Probably tweaked it, but but again, Joe just looked thick. He looked big compared to Kofi. Um, Randy Orton eventually interferes. He tries to hit an RKO on Kofi, but eh, eh, Kofi has that scouted. Um, hits the RKO for Joe for his troubles. Kofi hits a trouble in paradise on Orton so, so they can trade stuff. So it won't be necessarily 50-50 booking. And they can work the math out somehow. Then you have Finn Balor. And he challenges Bray Wyatt, which brings us to a smile on my face. Oh, wait, on the previous match, I'm sorry. Um, I figured since it was a death to finish, it was a death the old ham sandwich. Then we have Finn Balor. Come out to the ring. It's Blue Beller. Get the blue trunks on. And I noticed that when they're on SmackDown, they wear blue. When they're on Raw, they wear red. And the Bullet Club has a pretty badass design t shirt. It's like a samurai gas mask with like big letters of OC. Looks good. It's, 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 I'll tell you what, it's different. So I, I like different. I think. Yeah, they just have words or pictures of people. So this is different. This is this is actually a good design. Um it was Firefly Funhouse. Firefly Funhouse Bray, who accepted for the fiend. Just fun though, because then you had the rambling rabbit on one side and uh, Mercy. Whalen Mercy. The buzzer on the other side. That was pretty cool. Um and he accepted, so at SummerSlam, it's going to be hopefully proper a proper Demon versus Finn. Or you'll see Man Balor versus The Fiend. And then you can always have Finn. So there's so many combinations, they could actually do some good stuff with that. Uh, Charlotte comes out and said, The Queen won't, won't be at SummerSlam this year. What's up with that? Whatever. Uh, Shane comes out as ring announcer. Elias comes out as a timekeeper. Elias at least knows how to ring a bell. And of course, as a ring announcer, I said, yes, the person who lost the best in the world, Roman Reigns, and the person who's going to force a quit when he loses to the best in the world, Kevin Owens. Um, I guess the shoulder was better. I know it looked pretty nasty, but when I took a look at it today, I think the thing that throws me off is that he has the asymmetrical... Tattoos, or it's all the Samoan stuff. Or don't correct myself. I'm trying to become more politically sensitive. Maori. Oh, after then I, I break my microphone. Well, my microphone falls apart. But he has all the Maori tattoo 
I guess like a quarter chest and the sleeve and the other arm is bare so it looks so the other arm looks longer. I think it's just an optical illusion. Um, if not, it would have made much of a difference. Uh, for the most part, <laughs> this is the way the match went, 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 folks. Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns to the collar and elbow tie-up get pushed into the corner. So f at first, I think it's uh, Kevin in, uh, against the corner and Roman in front. Drew McIntyre, he doesn't do the five count. He just separates the two of them. No, see Drew McIntyre first. He has to go. Okay, break it up, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count. I told you, break it up. Okay, here I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five. O okay, I'm gonna have to break this up. Then he gets in between the two. Then they did it again. I think it was reversed. Roman Reigns was in the corner. Kevin Owens was pushing him, and Drew just forgets the ten count, the five count, just breaks him up. Um, Roman Reigns punches him. DQ match, baby. And then, of course, it says up a melee because then, oh, and of course, Elias like goes ding, 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 with a bell. So that's pretty cool. Um, he knows how to ring the bell at least, or, or does multiple rings on the bell. And um, the whole melee in in happens. You have. I think Kevin Owens gives a star to everyone. Roman Reigns, it's a Superman punch to Shane. It, it was really very simply, it's either Superman punch to Stunner, Spear to Stunner, Superman punch to Stunner, and then another Stunner because the crowd was chanting one more time. One more time. So, of course, he gave him another stunner. Shane eats a whole bunch of stunners. And you know what? That was... And that match... It's a can of soup. Only because it could have been better, but I understand the reasoning why. So, that's not too bad, I guess. You need a can of soup. It could be worse. Meow. Yeah. Meow. She just meow me. She she just meowed me. I just gave her a bunch of treats. And she got her look look on the Except for I closed the garage door, so she can't go in the garage anymore. Because it's almost 1 a.m. So that was SmackDown. So that was, it was an okay show. A little bit different from Raw. And this is getting really late. I don't want to go over my time because I know I... This is not the best video editor, but it works. So I'll see everyone Friday for my Impact Show. Bye.